Garbage over 2000 here back again doing another video here and in this video I'm in Mansfield, Georgia where they would have had their rail line come through of course it's since been removed to be turned into a rail trail but the depot is still here so that's nice oh, sh well shit Yep, that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> well, good thing I'm no longer in school because mom would have, my mom is probably going to be pissed. But, oh, hold on, is this coal? I'll be damned, yes it is. <laughs> There's a coal bin right here, I'll be damned. That's what this is, this is all coal right here underneath the station so yeah the railroad track was right here but this is the depot it was uh, of course it's going to need a lot of work before it's uh, able to be restored but I'm curious because there's got to be sp something left like a spike or something because here's the ballast. So they came in and removed the tracks fairly recently. See there's part of a tile. Oh! Bingo baby! Bingo! <laughs> Just call me the railroad version of Indiana Jones and you're covered. I'd say this was pulled up fairly recently considering the spikes still got metal on it. There's a sign here, let me see. Well, this is the second extinct railroad where I've gotten an art I've rescued an artifact from him. Or that I've rescued an artifact from, so thank goodness. I just don't get it though. Why did they tear the tracks up? I mean, I, I get the railroads abandoned, but now, you know, it's like, what the hell? What are they going to do in case some business opens up here and would like rail service? What then? I'm kidding. I'm not kidding, but here's, now here's something interesting. If you look at the grass, like the overgrowth, you can actually see how they had the track layout here. There was two tracks here at the depot. And you know how I can tell? It's the width of the area they've cut the grass in. The siding, the switch, was right here. In fact, here's a top plate. Probably one of the few top plates left. full of huge damn ants <laughs> but you can see where the switch was the switch was right there where the grass curves so when they came and ripped their tracks up they came in and cut the grass and really literally followed the exact curvature of the railroad so yeah they've turned it into a rail trail right here here's the sign <laughs> way to go you dang trailhead Trail head, idiots, whatever your name is. <laughs> Newton Trail. <laughs> Buddy. Yep. There was a railroad here. Not anymore. You can thank the idiots who ordered it removed for that one. I bet if an industry opens up here that has rail service or would like rail service, they're not going to get it. So like I say, you ain't going to make any damn money off a rail trail. A railroad, on the other hand, you would. In other words, you would make money if you had a railroad come through here like a, like a tourist railroad or something. 
That stuff brings in revenue for these small towns. This here just takes it away. Taking up the tracks just takes that away. Well, this is the third railroad that I've been to where I was too late to document it when the tracks were still in place. All I'm now documenting is the remnants. I mean, the ballast is still here. And of course, some pieces of the track remain, obviously, the spikes and the tie plates. And some of the ties. <laughs> that must have been a signal or something right there. So I'm curious if a short line owned this or if CSX owned it. Either way, I don't know. The well, only train that's going to come through here is a ghost train. Because <laughs> the railroad's now a ghost railroad, so great. And I got the last laugh. I've got a spike. Probably one of the only ones that will be left. Well, for any rail enthusiasts, you might want to come and get what you can from the old roadbed, because pretty soon that's probably all going to be ripped up, dug up, and buried. Now back to the depot. You can see the passenger side and the telegraph office and then the freight depot which takes up all of this part of the building. So I'm going to get some pictures. First, I want to see something. There's got to be rail. Surely there was still rail in the pavement somewhere. If anything, they were probably just paved over. The road doesn't look that new. Okay, no, excuse me. I lied. There is no pavement left. There is no rail left. Right. Oh, that's just fantastic. Well, here's where the tracks would have run. They would have run right here in the center of town, right through the square. Straight down there. Yeah, so they actually, I just noticed, they ripped up what was left of the tracks here. <clears throat> huh. Way to go, you idiot. Town's gonna die since you did that. So a realty company owns the depot now. Now the railroad may be gone, but this is one case of the cases where the, I'm glad the depot still exists. Oh, and the uh, Trackside electrical box is still here too. How did I just not re how I didn't notice that until just now is beyond me. Yep, that would have been for the railroad signals right there. <clears throat> There's some writing on it. See if I can do this without sinking into the mud. Yeah, right there. It still got the railroad style lock on it, so that seems like that makes some sense. This was probably CSX or some other short line that uh that owned it. Oh yeah, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>